Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Where we are in here with no holes barred. And I tell you the truth as I see it. You know, I really do believe at this point, I was hoping I didn't have to make a video about this. I couldn't. Last week it was T.S. Madison, who who is somebody I like. Um, entered, in my opinion, interfering in a conversation. And she had no business interjecting herself in. When it came to the response of, from J Jess Hilarious, if I understood T.S. Madison correctly, um, a lot of times you can take the way somebody says something, you know, and unless you hear them say it, uh, you know, in gist, in for real, then, then you, you might can be misinterpreted because you don't have the sound, you don't have the tone, none of that stuff. Um, and I'm hoping that's what it was when I read the tweet as a response to Jess Hilarious. Jess Hilarious last week was saying, you know, who's going to stick up for biological women? Whether you a woman that likes women, uh, whether you are a straight woman, a woman is a woman. Okay, that's the thing that, you know, we have to agree on something. You can't have it all. And that's why I know in my heart and in my spirit, and I wish y'all would comment on this video because, you know, like I said, I'm looking for a little bit more interaction with y'all. I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm begging at this point. I'm begging for some interaction on this video, especially. Whether you're a woman that likes women, whether you're a man that likes men, I think that common sense, common sense, you ain't going to take my common sense away from me. My daddy always told me that, the, that Satan makes evil fair seeming. And I would always wonder what the hell he was talking about from a kid on up. Well, Khadija, you know, the, the devil makes evil fair seeming. That's a verse out of the Quran, I believe. And uh, I, uh, I didn't quite understand it. Now, I'm not saying there's some energies around certain things that can be demonic. It can be heterosexual. It can be homosexual. It can be a, a, a trans. And it also can come with some demonic energy behind it. Anybody in their right mind know that you're only going to come to birth a male or a female. Either you're going to have double X chromosome or Y and an X chromosome. That's the way nature made it. You can't make it nothing else unless you safety. That's how I ain't even going to say you belong in the mental house. I'm going to say in my opinion because you Satan. And I'm going to call you out. This don't got nothing to do with if you a man that loves a woman or a woman that loves a woman. This got something to do with you trying to make some, you trying to gaslight me the fuck out of out of reality. Either you were born a male or you were born a female. Now all the stuff that happens in between or afterwards is what you make your base your decisions on. Even if you were homorphodite. You either had a vagina that, and then inside had, uh, you know, testicles and the uh, workings of a male, uh, and it didn't match, but somebody tried to socialize you a certain way. Because if you came out and they said, oh, it's a little boy, your mama didn't say, you didn't come out time out. Um, you make me feel my You didn't come out singing that. So right then and there, your family knew 
you were a boy and they socialized you as a little boy. You were a little boy. You might have been a gay boy as you grew older. Maybe two or three in some cases, four as early as I heard. Little boys that I've seen. I know a little boy who was gay when I saw him. He was only like two years old. He still had on a diaper. Okay. Now, I could make assumptions. I'm saying the way he acted, he didn't act like the rest of his brothers. Now, that's why I say you born the way you born. He was a little bit more timid, a little bit more, a little bit more different. It's just that simple. And then you have girls who come to birth, and they're a little different. That when they come out the womb, Not when they come out the wound. They don't come out talking about I'm a dyke. I'm a diesel dyke. I'm a bull dagger. That's not what happens once they come out the wound. They socialize with some little pink earrings and whatever. Dresses and booties and whatever. Come on, keep it real. So now you got this person trying to argue with Jess. Talking about you don't have no uh, patent or... or, or Lock on periods. Are you crazy? And that's why she said, y'all doing this now where you going crazy. And you making evil. Now you sound like you evil. You trying to act like uh, you don't know that there's a difference? A woman created all of it. And they said, what is a woman? Say your mama. That's what a woman is. A woman is your mama. Okay? That's what exactly what it is. She give birth to transgenders and homosexuals and whatever else label you done put on the person. And even if she's gay and gave birth, she can see her child and love her child. That's just a function of a female. And don't be jealous. Don't get mad. Tell my uh, chest feeders and all that crazy shit. There are there are some women that hated to see their periods. And especially if they thought they was a stud muffin. They didn't want to have their periods. What the hell wrong with y'all? And now you're going to sit up here and tell my women don't have no patent on periods. I never seen a man that had a penis and blood come out of it. This is getting totally psychotic. And white men is behind it all. And if they can get black men to buy into this madness for some dollars and some cents, this agenda to make a trans woman be a natural woman, that's not how any of this works. And I'm not going to be ashamed to say it. So now you manage a Neo because he says a kid is too small to decide. Let me tell you something. The worst thing in the world you can do. Now, what I said about, and I, and I know y'all going to think this is a little contradictory. I appreciated uh, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade at first for loving their child in spite of the difference that the child was, um, you know, different from the other children. But never did I say that it's okay for that child to have a sex change. No way will he be encouraged to even do that because, see, you can't go into the bar and drink until you're 21. But you say he can make a decision about his sexuality. Y'all some crazy people. And that's what my dad meant. God bless your soul, King. The devil makes evil fair seeming. So he's going to tell you it's okay for your little 13, 12-year-old boy to change their sex because he feel like he's a girl. No, not on my watch. Wait till you get 21, and then you do. If you feel that that's what you need to do, then you do that. Because you go, your brain don't stop going till you're 25. Y'all know that. Most scientists and scholars, they know that. So now why is it okay for a child? To uh, take, a, a, um, if the child feel like he gay, he just feel like he gay. Deal with it. You don't get to just change your body 
You don't get to just change your sex. See, that's to me, again, teeter tottering on madness. Teeter tottering on madness. Cause some of y'all are gay, but you ain't cut off your 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 uh, spoke, have you? Because that's what keep you grounded. Yeah, it certainly does. To what the truth is. I don't care if you taking hormones and you a trans trans man. You know, I don't even see women trying to get into man spaces like that. So. I, I, you know, maybe y'all can enlighten me, but I don't see women because you know why? They've been socialized to have a little bit manners. Men are crass. Ain't you brothers? Y'all know how y'all are. You know, you want to just dunk on somebody. You want to just uh, be like that. Hey, baby. Uh, blah, blah. You crass. So a trans man is not going to fit in with you. How come they got their own group? Because, see, at the end of the day, you still ain't going to fit in. So why go through all that bullshit crap? You still ain't going to have no spoke. You still can't impregnate no woman. So, so what are you trying to prove? Listen. Y'all better get y'all mind right. Get your minds right. Because we got a war to fight. And it ain't this transgender. Uh, oh, I can turn, let my kid be a child and decide what sexuality he want to be in and out. No, it don't work like that. And God didn't give them children to the society. He gave them to you. I heard that if your child in California uh, says he come to you and say something to that effect and you don't comply they can take your child away from you. See, all of y'all should be bum rushing the legislature to get that law changed instead of sitting back and watching and let these white people create laws because they know black people creating this kind of shit. These are white men creating laws that are insane. Keep it real. Now, if you follow them, you insane too. Oh, and I had to say it. Uh, and I know, I know you're gonna get mad, but I had to say it. I just had to. And I'm gonna take my licks. And I love everybody. But I'm not going to, you're not gonna force this down my throat and gaslight me. You've already gaslighted lit me and my people for over 400 years. Now, this is the next step of it. Well, I got to look at a natural born woman and be sitting up here talking about, is this the same thing? There's no difference between her and a trans woman? Are you freaking serious? I'm not, I'm not buying into the game. And I want to know who, who with me? Who with me? I don't care what your sexuality is. Who with me? All right. I'd like to see y'all comments below. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.